Well, here we are at the Jamer household and it's time to do some more crafts. And this time we're making May baskets. This is the tradition from when I was a kid. And it was a fun thing to do. And it was also a way to uh, get people outdoors and communicating with each other. And uh, it was a uh, a way to uh, express some uh, love to people too. You uh, start with tissue paper. And when I was a kid, because we weren't that good at it, we would start with a newspaper so that we didn't waste the tissue paper. We learned to cut it up and fold it on a, a, a piece of uh, newspaper. But as we're doing it, you can see here in this pile I have a pile. My, my wife got a little carried away there. Wanted to make sure we had lots of colors. So we have just a variety of every color imaginable. And uh, we even have polka dots and stripes. And uh, so what you do to start, you pick and you say, okay, uh, it's nice to have two colors. It gives a little uh, more contrast to it. Although you can do it with two with just one single color. So you pick two sheets and you flatten it out and you make sure that the edges are as close together as you can possibly get it and try to get any uh, wrinkles out. So you're starting and some tissue paper will come in a square and some will come in a rectangle. So what I have is in a rectangle. So the first thing I do is I get my two sheets, I get them on the table, flattened out and I'm going to take one corner and I'm going to take it over and I'm going to make a triangle. So I'm going to bring it over as close as I can. And again, very important to try to keep my two pieces as even as possible. And when I get over to this edge, I want to have as good of a triangle as I can get. I'm going to flatten that out. And I'm going to crease the bottom a little bit here because it makes it easier to fold. Then I'm going to take the corner away from the top and I'm going to fold it up and make another triangle. And it's important to get your angles going the right way because otherwise you might end up with a basket with no bottom in it. So you don't want that to happen. So again, I make that and I get it flat. And I'm going to keep the pointy end down towards me. And now I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut off that top so I just have the triangle. What we would do as kids, we would make these. And I think it was a tradition that came out of Carlton County and Victoria County. And not a lot of other places seem to, to do it or know what they were. And you would make your basket. So at this point, I got my triangle. I have the pointy end down towards me. I'm going to bring this in and fold it one more time. Bring it up as even as I can. So the folded sides are towards me and the open side is away from me. I'm going to do it one more time. And I'm going to bring it over. And then I'm going to crease that really well. And I'm going to check and try to make sure I've got my edges all lined up. Then I'm going to take my scissors. And I'm going to hold it. I'm right-handed, so I'm going to cut with my right hand. So at the top here, I'm going to cut and make my cut across. And I start on the, the side that's solid. It doesn't really matter, I don't think, but that's the way I do it. And I'm going to cut across. But when I do, I have to be careful that I don't cut too far. So it's good to leave, and, and when you start, probably leave a little more space. Now, the width of my cut 
I'm going to alternate my cuts from one side to the other. If I make a narrower piece of strip in between, it's going to give me a longer basket. And if I make a wider strip, it's going to give me a shorter basket. And you'll see when we pull it out here at the end how that works. Mine are probably about uh, somewhere between a half and three quarters of an inch. So I just keep alternating from one side to the other. And if I go too far, I cut the bottom off and I don't have a bottom in my basket. So that's why it's better to be a little bit conservative and not go quite to the end. So once we got these baskets made, we would take them, put a little candy in the bottom of them to weight them down a little bit, and we would take them to a neighbor's house, and we would hang it on the door, and it worked really well if there was a cute girl there, and you would hang it on the doorknob, and you would holler and say, May basket for so-and-so. I'd have to get one for Marion. And then you take off running and the, the gal that you hang the basket to is supposed to run and catch you. And when she catches you, you're supposed to get a kiss. So sometimes you ran really hard. And sometimes you didn't run quite so hard. Now, as you can see, I'm starting to unfold. This is a little tricky and it takes a little bit of patience because tissue paper tears very easily. So if you're doing with this with some young kids, this is a part where they might need a little extra help or even as a, an adult. So then I've got it unfolded half and then I'm gonna pull this apart. And again, you see how it's starting to come here. You're gonna, this is how your basset's gonna form. So we're gonna put it back on the, ground, on the table so it's flat. Then, at this point, I can say, well, do I want my this color inside or outside? And if I decided I want to change it, I just flip it over before I put it together. But then, I have my stapler, and I'm going to pick up one corner and another corner, and I'm going to bring those together, and I'm going to put a staple right there. Then I'm gonna bring the next corner in to this corner. And pull that together. And when I do my staple, it's almost into where my crease was, but not quite. So I'm gonna go around. So I'm gonna have four staples when I'm done here. And it's bringing this together at the top to make my basket. And then the fourth side is already in there. So I'm just gonna put my staple right there. Then uh, I want a handle. You see, this is my basket and see how it uh, hangs down and that's uh, that's when it's nice when you have the two colors that coordinate because it shows the, the difference in the, the colors. When I do my handles, some people like to braid them. I've never been a good braider. So I usually just take one color and lots of times I will take the color that maybe is the one on the inside. Sometimes I'll try to use the two colors and I'm just going to take the piece I cut off now, if I don't, if I had a square piece, I don't have any left over to make the handle out of. So I would have to have another piece, but I, I keep all my scraps. And if you look at the table behind me and out on the, the wall behind me, I've made 30, 32 baskets so far. And 
we just thought this would be a great way to cheer up some people that have been uh, inside and with all this pandemic stuff going on and whatnot. So I, I, I folded that down to a size that I say, okay, this will be wide enough to, and then I crease that really well. Then I'm gonna pull it up like this. So I have my two ends. And what I do, just to make a little bit of a fancy, I make a, a cut here in the end so that it gives me a little bit of a, an angle there. Then I'm gonna take that handle and I'm gonna take two opposite sides. And I'm gonna stick one on each side. And then I will do a staple there. And that will be my finished May basket. It's all ready for a little candy. And you can see this one's hanging pretty well by itself. But if my cuts were, were smaller, it wouldn't hang quite so much. So when I, I think sometimes we used to put pennies in them when I was a kid. It sort of weighs it down and then it gives you the full benefit. So that is a May basket. And if you have somebody who has favorite colors, you can uh, pick the colors that you think they would like. Or what we did, uh, because Marion works with the RCMP, I made a couple that have three colors in them for some people who are in the RCMP. And uh, so it, it gives the colors for that. And we also uh, made one for uh, the uh, staff at the EMS. And uh, their colors are green and burgundy and white. So tried to do that. Uh, this one here, there's uh, some folk that work at our local Royal Bank. So I did Royal Bank colors to take down there. So you see, you can, uh, and of course, I have to show you this one because my favorite color is red. And you see here we use striped paper. And uh, this one here has stars on the paper. So every little bit that you do, the colors of your paper, the, like the patterns on your paper, all help to give you a different look. So hope that this is helpful, that you can make uh, some May baskets and share them with other people so that they have a little fun and encouragement. So that's it for now. Have a good day.